there are many kinds of chemical reactions taking place in living and non-living things. We will focus on five major types of chemical reactions commonly found in the human body. Synthesis, decomposition, exchange, reversible, and oxidation reduction reactions. In synthesis reactions, two or more small reactants combine to form one larger product. The reactants could be any atom, ion, or molecule. The word synthesis means to put together. These are creative reactions that build new chemical substances. A general equation for a basic synthesis reaction is reactant A plus reactant B yields product AB. An example of a synthesis reaction is the formation of carbonic acid from water and carbon dioxide. H2O plus CO2 yields H2CO3, carbonic acid. All of the synthesis reactions taking place in the body make up the body's anabolism. The prefix ana means to raise up, and you've seen it used to describe anabolic steroids that build up protein-rich muscle tissue. Anabolic reactions are usually endergonic because they absorb more energy from the surrounding environment than they release. The reactions of protein synthesis, where smaller amino acid building blocks combine into larger proteins, are examples of your body's anabolism. In decomposition reactions, a large chemical reactant breaks down into its smaller building blocks, the products. Decomposition reactions are the opposite of synthesis reactions. A general equation for a basic decomposition reaction is reactant AB yields product A and product B. An example of a decomposition reaction is the breakdown of carbonic acid, H2CO3, into water and carbon dioxide. As you can see, this reaction is the exact opposite of the example that we use to illustrate the synthesis reaction. All of the decomposition reactions taking place in the body make up the body's catabolism. The prefix kata means to tear down, and you've seen it used in words like catastrophe or cataclysm to describe disasters or any type of destructive event. Catabolic reactions are usually exergonic because they release more energy into the surrounding environment than they absorb. An example of an important catabolic reaction occurring in the body is the breakdown of glucose, a six-carbon sugar, into two three-carbon molecules of pyruvic acid, also called pyruvate, part of the early stages of cellular respiration that produces chemical energy in the form of ATP. In exchange reactions, the chemical components of the reactants recombine to form new products. Exchange reactions are a combination of both decomposition and synthesis reactions. A general equation for a basic exchange reaction is reactant AB plus reactant CD yields products AC and BD. In an exchange reaction, the bonds between the reactants AB and CD break as in a decomposition reaction, and new bonds form as the new products AC and BD are created as in a synthesis reaction. An example of an exchange reaction is HCl, hydrochloric acid, a strong acid, plus NaHCO3, sodium bicarbonate, a strong base, yields 
H2CO3, carbonic acid, a weak acid, plus NaCl, sodium chloride, a salt. Notice how the components of the reactants switch partners with each other. Hydrogen combines with bicarbonate to form carbonic acid, and sodium combines with chlorine to form sodium chloride. Another example of an exchange reaction is calcium chloride, CaCl2, plus potassium carbonate, K2CO3, yields calcium carbonate, CaCO3, plus potassium chloride, KCl, a salt. The examples in the previous reactions were all carried out in one direction, from left to right from reactant to product, but there are other reactions called reversible reactions that can move in two different directions. In reversible reactions, the products are able to return back into the original reactants. A general equation for a basic reversible reaction is, reading from left to right, Reactant AB yields products A and B, which then become reactants A and B that combine back together from right to left into product AB. A reversible reaction is indicated by including two arrows pointing in opposite directions. Some reversible reactions will only occur under special conditions, such as when water is added, or if heat is applied, or when a specific enzyme is present. These special conditions are indicated in the equation by writing them above or below the arrows. Our last type of chemical reaction, the oxidation reduction, or redox reaction, is a common reaction that breaks down food molecules in order to produce usable chemical energy in the form of ATP. Oxidation reduction reactions always involve a transfer of electrons between a pair of chemical substances. One substance acts as an electron donor and will undergo oxidation the loss of one or more of its electrons, and a corresponding release of energy. The other substance acts as the electron receiver and will undergo reduction, the gain of one or more electrons, and a corresponding absorption of energy. The reduction of a chemical substance refers to the reduction of its charge, as the substance gains negative electrons, its overall charge will be reduced. A general equation for a basic oxidation reduction reaction is chemical A loses an electron and chemical B gains the electron. That's going to yield the oxidized form of chemical A now with a positive charge, and the reduced form of chemical B, now with a negative charge. It's similar to two people playing catch. The thrower of the ball, which represents the electron, is the donor, and the catcher is the recipient. The thrower loses the ball and is oxidized, while the catcher receives the ball and becomes reduced. Oxidation reduction reactions always occur in pairs, where one substance is oxidized at the same time the other substance is reduced. There are two mnemonics that can help you remember the terms oxidation and reduction. The phrases Leo says Gur and oil rig. Leo says Gur stands for loss of electrons is oxidation and gain of electrons is reduction. Oil rig stands for oxidation is loss, and reduction is gain 
of electrons. 